Welcome guys to your channel TechWine. In this video we will solve this lab. First of all we have to copy this username 1. Open the console with your incognito window. Paste the username, hit enter. Go back to the lab. Copy the password. Paste and login. Once logged in go to cloud storage. Then to the buckets. Click on create. Now we have to create a regional bucket. So copy your project ID. Paste, type hyphen, then bucket, click on continue, then we have to choose the region, region will be selected for you by default, click on create, confirm, and your bucket is created, you can go back to the lab and check the progress for the first task. Now we have to sign in via user 2, you can close your incognito window, now copy the second username, again open the console with the incognito window, paste the second username, go back to the lab, copy password, once logged in search for dataplex, open this, click on manage, then create, for the display name simply go back to the lab, Copy this display name and make a note of the region. Go back. Paste it. My reason was US West 1. For your case this may be different. Now click on create. It may take some time to get created. Once the lake is created open it. Then click on add zone. Again go back to the lab. Copy the display name. Paste it. For type it must be raw zone, choose the regional, click on add label, for the key and value pair go back to the lab and copy the key and value, then expand the discovery settings, enable the metadata discovery and click on create. Once the status changes to activate simply go back and check the progress. Scroll down, copy this entry group name, move to the entry groups, click on create an entry group, paste the name, for location we have to choose the region provided in the lab, our was US West 1, click on create, ok our entry group is created, now go back and check the progress for this task also, for last task copy the template name, Move to the tag templates, click on create tag template, provide the display name, again choose the location according to your lab, scroll down, click on add field, go back to the lab. Now we will copy the field names. For the data owner choose the string type, click on done, again click on add a field, go back to the lab. Type should be enumerated, for value 1 type yes, for the value 2 type no, click on done, create, that's all, 